Tonight, DeKalb County is remembering a rookie officer killed in the line of duty. This is new video showing balloons, flowers, and signs being placed outside the DeKalb County Police Headquarters. All this one day after 24-year-old officer Edgar Flores was shot during a traffic stop. The traffic stop and shooting happened along Candler Road, north of I-20. The gunman also is dead, and a K-9 officer was shot. Joe Hankey tonight has the very latest on the GBI's investigation into the shooting and what we learned today about Officer Flores. Well, Jeff, the GBI today released a few new details about the shooting, but it is still under investigation. Investigators have identified the gunman as 33-year-old Brandon Taylor of Decatur, and a canine officer named Indy is in critical condition after also being shot, but is in stable condition following emergency surgery. Meanwhile, today, DeKalb County welcomed its newest officers to the police force. If you will raise your right hand. And Less than two years ago, Officer Edgar Flores. I will support. And took defend. his oath of office and became a DeKalb County police officer. Congratulations. Now, DeKalb County's 114th Police Academy graduates are following in Flores' path. And I struggle to reconcile how we're going to mourn and honor Officer Flores yet celebrate this important milestone and the accomplishments of these new police officers. 15 officers begin their careers with mourning bands across their badges in memory of Flores and representing the gravity of the oath they swore to. Flores would have turned 25 this weekend, but now leaves behind a fiance, parents, and brother. He had a future ahead of him, um, did die a hero. The GBI reports Thursday around 5 p.m. DeKalb police pulled over 33-year-old Brandon Taylor of Decatur along Candler Road. Investigators say Taylor ran, Flores ran after him, and then Taylor shot Flores several times. The GBI not ready to release details about the traffic stop or why Taylor ran. K-9 and SWAT officers tracked down Taylor and found him a tenth of a mile from the traffic stop, hiding in a pile of tires behind a business. Taylor fired his gun, hitting Indy, a five-year veteran of DeKalb's K-9 squad. Indy was shot in the face. Three SWAT officers then shot at Taylor. Doctors pronounced Flores and Taylor dead at Grady Hospital. We will not allow the service and bravery of Officer Edgar Flores to be in vain. Now, as they begin to protect and serve, DeKalb CEO Michael Thurmond asked the county's newest officers to carry Flores with them while on duty. By not going weary, not being discouraged, and never growing tired of doing good. Chief Conroy says even though Indy is in critical condition, another canine officer suffered similar injuries and returned to work, so there is hope for his recovery. And we be, are being told tonight, tomorrow at 10 a.m., there will be a procession taking Officer Flores' remains from DeKalb County to his home in Habersham County in preparation for his funeral. We're putting details of that procession on our website right now at 11alive.com. Jeff.